I am Ken Sherman, section editor for CNET.com, and it's a big day here in the studio because we actually have the white iPhone. Yes, it's the white iPhone 4. We've waited so long for it, months and months and months, and, well, you probably waited so long that you might not even care at this point. But we're going to show it to you anyway just because it has been so talked about, and we still don't know why it took Apple so long to introduce this device. We've heard that it could have been the proximity sensor. We also heard, remember, on the 3GS, there was some discoloration on the white iPhone. So we never know. But this device is finally here. We're going to show it to you. Of course, it is exactly the same. We are showing a Verizon phone here. And AT&T Verizon will both offer the white iPhone. And of course, the only differences will be what network it runs on. Features are exactly the same on the black iPhone 4. So it's going to have the camera. It's going to have the iTunes connectivity. It's going to have the iPod player. It's going to have the browser. Everything that you'd expect on that phone is going to be there. And there are no cosmetic differences except for the white color. You will notice a line up here. The black iPhone actually has that as well. You just can't see it because, like the skin of the phone, it's also black. You have to hold it up to the light to really see that line. But that's the only thing that's different. This is the Verizon iPhone. so. Of course, there is that extra line here in the antenna, but again, that's the only differences you're going to see. Starting with the earlier iPhones, I've never been such a fan of the white models, but I know a lot of people have been, so it's great that you can now have the option to buy it. Uh, of course, it doesn't have a unicorn horn on it. You might be waiting for that because a lot of people call this a tech unicorn, but it does. just doesn't have that unicorn horn. On the back, I thought the back looked a little cheaper than the black iPhone. It's just a real subjective thing that I saw. You may not agree, but just didn't like the skin quite as much. The upside, though, is the back won't show fingerprints as easily as the black iPhone can get smudgy really quickly, and you're not going to see that here. Now, there's been a lot of controversy over whether the white iPhone is actually thicker than the black model. Some blogs have posted photos that they do see a difference, even though it's maybe 0.2 millimeters, which is hardly anything. And other blogs and news reports have said it's no difference. Check the video where we actually take the phone down to a place in San Francisco that can measure things really, really accurately down to even smaller than a millimeter. So we'll see if that's actually true. But for right now, I don't see any difference. We also heard that the white iPhone doesn't accommodate the standard cases or bumpers that Apple has actually put out. Well, Apple was good enough to send us a white bumper. Of course, you can use any bumper you'd like. And, you know, when I snapped it on, I didn't think it went on any more difficult than on the black iPhone. I also didn't see a difference when I tried using this other case that I currently use on a black iPhone for. It snapped on just as easily as well. So, I think even if it is a little bit bigger, I don't think it's a big deal. And to be honest with you, I'm sure that when you make a bunch of products like that, sometimes there are very, very slight differences that come out of the production line. But overall, the white iPhone, exactly the same as I said. May not be your cup of tea, but it's finally, finally here. And if you don't care, and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that don't, well, it's here anyway for you. I'm Kent German, and this is the white iPhone 4.